I'm a bit of a haphazard gardener, but every now and then I find something flourishing in my garden, and tomatoes are one of those things. So there's nothing nicer than a fresh tomato and a writer. I often find veggies to be overcooked and really boring. It doesn't really have to be. Today I'm going to be making a vibrant veg pilau and an exciting writer. Good swig of olive oil going in. Cinnamon, bay leaves, some cumin seeds. I can hear those cumin seeds already starting to splatter. Smells pretty good. And to mix the onion. There's nothing like some onions frying in a pan that makes a house feel like a home. Next, salt. About a teaspoon and a half coarse salt going in. And we're just gonna roughly saute this until the onions are translucent. Crushed ginger and garlic goes into the pan. Love that noise. Almost a delicious sizzle. Red chili powder, one of my favorites. Fantastic for spicing things up. And now, another stir. Now fry these potatoes already. If you're on a diet, going fat-free or low-fat, just boil them. It really speeds up the cooking time. Also some sautéed carrots and then the Cuban coriander, garam masala. Pinch of turmeric as well. And then the frozen peas. I'm sure by now you know this isn't a low-fat dish. In goes some fresh cream. The aromas are amazing. This is par-cooked basmati rice. Cold rice always works best in a pilau. When you cook the rice, pour a little cold water over, rinse off the excess starch, and let it cool down, even refrigerated for a while. That just prevents the rice from getting sticky when you're making a pilau. I always say a chef's best tool are the fingers. In goes the Spartan lentils. They are so convenient and they really cut down on the cooking time. Paneer, just adding a few pieces to the top and going to let this heat through gently. Now for some water. Pour a bit of water over that pilau. I'm going to cover it with a tight-fitting lid. This is what I love about AMC Cook, where you can just close the little vent at the top. And we're going to let the steam through for about 10 minutes. I love having some crunchy veg in a pilau, so today I'm going to use asparagus and tender stem broccoli. I'm gonna pop these in the microwave. But first, just a little bit of water, about a tablespoon going in. And I'd say about a minute and a half to two minutes. Hmm, these do look done. Pour some water over the ice and we're going to shock these vegetables and keep them green and juicy. Oh, they are a bit hot. The pilau should just about be ready. Let's have a look. Wow, steam through beautifully. And now I'm going to just lift up the tender stem broccoli and the asparagus and we're going to lay those vegetables over the paneer. They are green, they are crunchy, they are still alive and vibrant. 
a good squeeze of lemon juice going over the veggies. Olive oil again. It's almost like doing a dressing over the pilau. Salt, just a fine sprinkling to season those veggies on the top. Brown onion. And these add a lovely, rich flavour. Black pepper, lastly. Good sprinkling. I've turned off the heat and I'm going to pop the lid back on and let those veggies absorb some of that aromatic steam. They're not perfect, but they are super fresh. Just gonna chop these up roughly. There's something really special about getting something out of your garden. That's a great way of convincing your kids to try to eat some veggies and some fruit too. For the pomegranate writer, I did promise you an exciting writer. I'm just going to smooth some yogurt into this bowl. So this is double thick Greek yogurt. It is really creamy and it doesn't split when you add the other ingredients. And then these luscious, wonderful, homegrown tomatoes go in on top. I've left the seeds in. They actually add a bit of visual appeal to the dish. And next, the cucumber. Use about half a large cucumber. And just split it down the middle. And again down the middle. And cut this into chunky bits. And the idea is not to have everything finely chopped. You don't want too much liquid getting into the yogurt. Let's season this with a bit of sugar. Just a light sprinkling of sugar going in. And then some seasoned salt. The star of our show, the pomegranate rubies. Now these look like beautiful jewels. Gonna sprinkle that over. And don't they look lovely? Fresh mint, also from my garden. I'm just gonna pinch off a few of these leaves. I don't like chopping these, they do turn black. And the beauty of it is it's supposed to look natural and appetizing. I don't think anything fine chopped, especially herbs, looks appetizing. The smell is so fresh. Pomegranate concentrate going in, it adds a tangy, tart flavor to this pomegranate writer. And there you have it, my pomegranate writer, all done. And it's layers of double thick yogurt with cucumber, fresh tomatoes, mint, and pomegranate rubies. been working up an appetite while I've been cooking this and I'm ready now to tuck in. Wow, that smells so good. Some asparagus, my favourite vegetable. And now for the writer. Good dollop of this lovely writer with my pilau. I think I'm going to scoop up some of those pomegranates as well. Now I'm going to sit back, relax, and enjoy my dinner.
KMC is giving away this paella pot valued at 3,000 Rand. To win one of these fantastic giveaways, go to www.saffrontv.co.za. Spa is giving away five 1,000 Rand shopping vouchers. To win one of these vouchers, go to www.saffrontv.co.za. Carry Me Home is giving away a fabulous KitchenAid blender valued at 3,000 Rand. For more details, log on to www.saffrontv.co.za. Whirlpool is giving away this fantastic Jet Chef microwave oven. To win this exclusive giveaway, go to www.saffrontv.co.za.